Protecting your child with speech delays from physical and sexual abuse is very important and can avoid future victims. The steps we suggest you take is help your child identify what abuse is, helping your child communicate with gestures, helping your child communicate with sign language, telling an adult right away and reporting it to authorities. Saying no, saying no, no, despite what your household primary language is, teaching your child to say or gesture no is a key component in avoiding abuse. And being assertive with their no, gesturing no. We also encourage your speech pathologist to teach your child no in sign language or simply watching this video at this point to learn. Saying stop or gesturing stop. It's very important to teach your child to gesture stop. Stop. I don't like that. Stop. And again, also encouraging your speech pathologist to teach your child to say stop in sign language or again watching this video at this point to learn. Seeking help. Teaching your child to seek help is very important. Bringing attention to the matter, gesturing help, going to an adult, and again, contacting authorities. It is important we recognize the nonverbal cues in our child, whatever those cues may be. Changing behavior, if they show some type of discomfort, whatever it may be, we need to identify it. Again, teaching your child Sign language and saying help is also important or watching this video at this point. Your child has a speech delay. You need to be their voice. Subscribe and share for more videos.